Turkish troops patrolling roads in the south of the country, near the Iraqi border. They're preparing for military operations against Kurdish separatist fighters. Operations that could see these soldiers cross the border and confront the Kurds in their strongholds within Iraq. This is the warning given by Turkey's Prime Minister, Tayyip Erdogan, suggesting it's just a matter of time. After the holiday, we will get the authority from the parliament, though it will be a limited one, for one year. During this year, we are going to pass on this authority to our security forces as soon as it becomes necessary. Ankara has accused Kurdish rebels and the PKK for a murderous grenade attack on Wednesday in the southern Turkish city of Diyarbakir. This attack, along with a gunning down of 13 Turkish soldiers on Sunday, seems to have given Turkish lawmakers a sense of urgency. But Kurdish leaders warn that a Turkish offensive within Iraq will not go unchallenged. I don't think there will be a Turkish incursion, and if it will happen, it won't be easy, and it will face a strong resistance. We won't receive them with roses and welcomes. The Peshmerga and Kurdish people will repel them. The central government should defend Iraq and resist aggression. Turkish troops have been attacking various Kurdish separatist strongholds in Turkey. The ongoing battle has lasted over 30 years. Turkey claims the PKK are responsible for the deaths of over 30,000 people since 1984. Now there's growing public demand for an offensive against the Kurds to cross the border. These demonstrators letting authorities know they hold the PKK responsible for the killing of loved ones and want their government to retaliate. While both the EU and the US have the PKK listed as a terrorist organization, there is ever-mounting concern of Turkish military operations within northern Iraq. I think that uh, any possibility of uh, complicating even more the security situation in Iraq is something that should not be welcomed. And therefore uh, that is a message that uh, we pass to our Turkish friends uh, in that direction. Already besieged by a bloody war, Iraq may now find itself entangled in another conflict on a new front. Farid Barsoom, Al Jazeera.